As night falls on episode 299, we are preparing ourselves for the long adventure ahead of us. Welcome everyone to episode 299. Uh, today's going to be kind of a weird episode because, as you know, I'm not too into projects right now in this world. If you didn't catch last episode, we are heading off 30,000 blocks in one direction to start a new life for a little bit. And then we will return here later down the road, who knows when, only time will tell. So today, I'm just gonna be running around the world, fixing things up and reading some of your guys' comments you left last episode. So one thing my world is lacking right now is doors, because zombies tear them down all the time. So I'm gonna go around and place every door because I know I'm missing like, I think 70% of my doors have been torn down, which kind of sucks. I kind of feel bad. I should have mentioned it last episode that you guys should leave comments for the next episode. Um, but I just looked, I only have 14,000 views on the video, last video so far, and it already has like 700 comments, which is way above than I normally get, so this should be interesting. I'm just gonna create every door I can. I don't think I've used jungle door in my world yet. What am I missing? Oh, I haven't really used acacia either. So the first comment I see, which I'm actually kind of surprised by, as soon as I scroll down is, are you ever going to build in the nether soon by Tyrone Gantilla? That is such an odd request because I always viewed the nether as a boring place to go. Every time I'm in the nether, I'm like, I gotta get this over with or my viewers are just gonna leave. <laughs> that's how I felt all the time. Um, that's why I've never actually built there a whole lot. But I've always kind of wanted to make a hub so maybe we can do that while we're over there this time. Okay, I got every door. I don't have an iron door. Those are expensive. So the next question I see is, what is one thing you're most excited about building in your new start? And I think that is going for a new building style. This is what I would call, I always call this fantasy Victorian because it kind of has a Victorian look to it, but um, it's very fantasy because it's stilted off the ground and I don't think... The weight of this house could actually be supported by these little stilts I made. But I think what I'm looking forward to most is actually, I'm thinking about doing maybe a modern build, like a modern house, but we'll see. <laughs> that comment was from Catherine Deasy, by the way. Uh, what? Okay, so I should probably check. <laughs> this isn't a priority, but it's something I've needed to do for a long time. And I've always put it off, so I'm just doing it now. So that is considered open, right? So they shouldn't break that down. That's a jungle door. What? Okay, do I want spruce or jungle here? I guess I can just have them both different. Why didn't I ever use this room, by the way? <laughs> I did for a while, but didn't like it. These greenhouses, all the doors are gone on there. I know that for sure. Dirt Thing asks, what was your scariest moment of your life where did you have a near-death experience? I don't believe I've had any near-death experiences, as far as I know, but yeah, I think those look best for that. But I've had plenty scary moments in my life with uh, the few people I've grown up with um, because we always did really bad things. Not really bad, just bad for our age, I guess. I don't know how to explain it really. What the, why did this one go that way? Probably when me and a friend laid next to a road at night. I know this is bad for the parents watching, I'm sorry. Uh, but we were like throwing rocks at cars, which is terrible. Now that I think about it, I don't know what I was thinking. And one car just slammed on its brakes and they chased us through these woods for like, 10 minutes and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I think that's the scariest moment I can think of. Any doors down here? What? Oh, <laughs> it's a village up there. How many are there? There's always like, stop. Why are you even looking up right there? <laughs> can they actually, no. What? What is up with that pathing? The next comment I get quite a bit. I have a lot of building blocks in there is, uh, Teddy Hacks asks, are you ever going to post any other game on this channel? Uh, I, I've mentioned this quite a bit. The only other game that I have in mind right now is Hightail, but that's not actually coming out until 2021. But hopefully, just maybe, they might come out with a beta this year. So I believe I see this comment in about every video on my channel. I've mentioned it quite a few times before. That's why I don't really answer them. And that is, uh, this one was from King Derpy Noob Kentucky. <laughs> Do you remember Jack Frost Miner? If so, do you know what happened to him? Of course I remember him. He's the one that really boosted my channel. He gave me 30,000 subscribers in one month. That was when I joined that SMP, but I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what happened to him. He kind of just dipped. I'm assuming he's going to school, he was really into sports, so he kind of found his calling. YouTube was just a hobby for him. It wasn't really a full-time job for him, so 
he's gotten to that point where he's just moving on. Hi, devils. Oh, should I bring a pet with us? At least one? That would be really hard, though, because I'm going to be using Elytras. I don't know. Gamersloth42 asked, what is your favorite candy? Sweet tarts, I'd say. And especially around Easter, when you have the bunny-shaped sweet tarts. Oh, I don't know why. They just make them better for some reason. <laughs> Iced Frigid asks, what are your intentions for the next world? And what biome do you plan to build in or start in? My intentions are to build completely opposite of the style I am now. And I'm hoping to find a mega taiga. Great question from Evan Wagner. Does life gradually get harder and more confusing as you get older? Very much so, yes. But that is the fun part about it. Now, I didn't really like learning a whole lot. In my teen days, I was just like, I just want to get this over with and find a job and just finally get on with life. But at my stage now, like, that's all I want to do. I'm obsessed with, like, growing my knowledge for the world and just being the best I could possibly be. And it's probably one of the most motivating feelings I've ever felt in a while that I'm actually wanting this. It's kind of strange, but I hope you all get to feel it one day. Well, it's not strange. I don't know why I said it's strange. It's completely normal, but I hope you all get that feeling one day. Chris Carr asks, what do you think will be good in 20 years and what will be bad? What will be good is technology in the ease of life. What will be bad is diversity and political despotism. Zach Davies asks, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Yes, drink 90% water. I need to have my milk. Go to the gym five times a week and starting to journal more. But I've already kind of explained the journaling part. I normally go to the gym already, but sometimes I take like up to three to four days off. And I'm like, I can't do this. <laughs> James Locko asked, what is your biggest fear? Now, normally most people would be like heights or drowning. And I actually love heights, weirdly enough. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's kind of like an awesome feeling. <laughs> um, but mine, I think would be not doing enough with my life not being satisfied. I think I fear that the most. Jason Louie asks, would you like to have seasons in Minecraft? Of course, this would be so much fun considering farming, for example, you can farm any time of the year. That would add so much variety to farming. Let's say you have to switch to hunting for winter because you can no longer grow crops. And then when it finally summertime, you can switch to crops. It would just, it would be a great idea. The little cabbie asks, how do you stay focused on one project for so long? And what do you think has been your most boring project? How I stay focused is being very interested in that project at the time. Let's say for the lab, I would look at real labs and maybe I think I'd probably watch a movie that has something to do with it and I'd get so many ideas from it. And that's kind of how I would stay interested, but I'd also have multiple projects all over the world. So if I get bored of one, I can just switch to another real quickly and I make sure they're all differently themed so I don't get bored of a certain theme. And one project that I think I'm most bored of is probably the factory, <laughs> sadly. That's why I never work on it because, well, actually not bored of it. It's just the process of gathering all the brick. I think that's it. That's an interesting comment. Shadow, LOL, XX, baked potato. <laughs> Just keep your journal so like when you come back, you can read it. Should I actually, I might, how many pages do I have left? So if you didn't notice, my journal is like my number one tool in this world. If you just like pause and see what I've kind of written down over the time, I've written out a lot of stuff to help me with stuff. And it, what was that? Area of unexplored lands to adventure are past the courts. Maybe we'll go in that direction actually. Is that all? Oh, I guess, yeah, we have quite a few pages. I might bring this with me. Jace McKee asked, is the glowing one named after the glowing one of Fallout 4? Yes, he was, until he despawned. And then as you saw recently, he tried to get another one in here, but he fell, and I guess he was already pretty hurt, and he died. <laughs> Nate asks, with a train in the background, I don't know if you can hear it, but who cares? At this point, literally, who cares? <laughs> if you're an OG of my channel, you'd know. Uh, do you like Star Wars? If so, what do you think about the sequel trilogy? Little do you guys probably know, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, and I have not seen the latest one recently, and that goes to show they're not as amazing as the prequels. The Last Jedi was all right, The Force Awakens, I'm just like, man, but in both of them, they killed iconic characters, and that's just not the way to go. I know they're old, and they wanted to show them one last time, but that was still not the way to go. But I haven't seen The Rise of Skywalker yet, and I'm hearing some bad reviews about it, but I think it'll be all right. Parker Noise asks, what is your favorite type of music? Uh, 
I guess you can just search on YouTube, The Neighborhood, Stuck With Me. That's my favorite song. This is a good question from Slock Game 2020 How was your childhood? Difficult or normal? What did you do most in your childhood? So I am so thankful that I grew up right before technology hit. Technology as in smartphones. Because mostly what I did is skateboard and actually like have so many memories of just going out and playing outside. But today, all I can think about kids are doing is just staying in and playing Fortnite and Minecraft and all that. I know kids still go outside and play, but it has definitely gone down from the early 2000s to 2010 in that kind of era. So, but I had a pretty normal one. I wasn't in like a poor or rich family or anything like that, just right in the middle. And I'd say I had a pretty darn good childhood. Yo dog 25 exclamation mark asks, how well do you take criticism from haters? Pretty well, I'd say, especially with YouTube has helped me. I mean, you don't get a lot of hate in the Minecraft community, but you still do, no matter what. Um, and I've had, I've come across quite the hate. And well, not in real life a whole lot. I'm a pretty decent guy. Um, I think I've generated quite the thick skin. It's definitely a good thing to have, especially in real life. Um, you never want to be that guy that freaks out when someone else is freaking out. Um, the best way is to just maintain your composure and sit back and be the cool dude. Because when someone's freaking out about you for something you may have done, just stay cool and then that's what kind of lowers tempers is when they realize their temper is not raising yours. Um, and you look like the smarter guy in the room because you know how to control your temper. Um, so yeah, I think I've been able to learn a lot from that. I see a comment from Garasimos03. It would be so much cooler if you went there on a horse. Yes, it would, but I would, you know, I'm going to be like 30,000 blocks and I'd come across so many things to explore on the way there that I'd want to explore them. And what I'm planning on doing is flying really high with an elytra and just flying for a long time. So I'm probably won't even generate any chunks below me. Um, so that's the plan. I'm seeing a comment here. It says, when you go over 200 blocks, then come back without a peaceful chunk reload, everything on your armor stands and every animal you had fed or interacted with will all despawn or die. I don't think that's true, but if he has any truth in that, let me know. Because when you leave an area like chunks, all this pauses until you come back and load it. You know, like when you drop gear on the ground, it'll always be there until you load the chunks and then five minutes pass, it'll despawn. So I think that'll happen. I'm seeing a lot of comments where people are just very confused, think I'm like leaving this world forever. Just remember, I mean, if you're still watching and you thought that, we're just going very far for a little while. Like I said, at least 20 episodes, at most 50 episodes. And then... After that, we're just going to come back here and we're going to permanently live here. This is our permanent place. We're just building a vacation area. And last question is from Aiden Hinkle. Or Hinkle. Are you ever going to make Dallas Med 65 merch? I've had so many opportunities to do it. But the only limitation I had was not coming up with a design I was pleased with. A lot of people make these designs and they're meant for children most of the time. And yes, I have a lot of children watching... But I want to be able to make something I would wear too. And I don't really, I'm not really the type to wear a shirt around with a big old slime on it. <laughs> I'm definitely not a huge logo person. Most of my clothes don't have logos on them. I'm like a straight bear. I mean, if you go to my Instagram, you'll see I'm just not into like print, I guess you can say. So I've thought about it before. I've sketched a few ideas, but it's like simple stuff. But then I realized it's not, it doesn't really tie to my channel a whole lot. So that's kind of the situation I'm in with that. Maybe sometime down the line when my channel grows a little bit bigger, probably if I ever reach like a million subscribers or something like that, then I'd start producing that kind of stuff. But as of right now, it's not a huge priority. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I guess I don't really need to do a comment question of the day. <laughs> um, and next episode, we're going to tour this world and you can download it. And then we start a new life somewhere yonder. I don't know why I keep looking over there. I guess I'm going to head that way. <laughs> See you guys there. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.